Hey, it's Tony here. Good to see you. And I'm here to answer your question this time about the difference between contemporary and ballroom. Only because I get a lot of questions after I've done choreography on the show. Is like, well, why does the ballroom dancing on So You Think You Can Dance look like contemporary? Well, here's the deal. I've never had contemporary ballet training. I'm a little bit ashamed to say that, but in 30 years of dance training, I've only done ballroom. So when I go on the show, I can only give ballroom choreography because I don't even know what contemporary choreography is. I love it. I love watching it. Just haven't been trained in it. So when I go on the show, what I do is I take assistants with me who are ballroom trained but have also had contemporary and ballet training. So for example, when I worked with Tad and Jordan on their smooth waltz, I took kids along who knew how to communicate with them in terminology that they would understand. So I demonstrate the ballroom routine with the ballroom terminology and then basically my assistants would translate for me. So I would say, okay, bend and prepare to, you know, rise into the step and they would immediately go, plie, releve. I'm like, what are you talking about? But somehow what that does is just makes it much quicker for the contestants to get the routine down. And then I go back later and try and make it look more ballroom. So I want to show you just a couple of differences, what I think is important ballroom technique and what happens when they put their contemporary and ballet training into ballroom figures and make it look like contemporary dancing. So in a ballroom, in a ballroom set we have a three step turn to prepare for a ronde. So from here I would just do a three step turn and then I would prepare and go into a ronde. So with that, that was just the steps, if I do the ballroom version of it, my frame, you can see, imagining I'm in dance frame right here, you can see my left arm is extended as if it was on the man's right arm in ballroom dance position, and you see I extend my head over to the left, and there's a lot of angles in my body as I'll do that turn, okay? In ballet, they're a lot more vertical and pulled up with a different kind of frame. They don't look like they're in ballroom dance position. And by the way, this is where you're going to know I've had zero ballet training. Sorry about this, but this is my impression of when they try and do my ballroom step with that ballet training, is it looks a lot more pulled up, a lot more vertical, a lot more longer in the body, yeah, less angles and less extension of the head. They also, in, in ballroom, keep very soft knees. So as I was turning, you'll see as I land it, you see my knees are very bent, very soft. In ballet, in my point of view, they really lock out and pull their legs up and have it very, very straight through the legs. Next thing is the footwork. In ballroom, because of that knee bend, we keep our feet parallel all the time. So as I turn, you'll see as I land, my feet are facing the same way. In ballet, from what I understand, they have massive turnout. So it looks like they'll have like turnout as I go into a plie massive turnout through the turn and you know it just looks completely different in ballroom that's an absolute no-no so basically what happens i would try and demonstrate it as a ballroom dancer would in the time that i'm allowed i try and teach it with ballroom technique but basically these kids have so much more ballet and contemporary training so as they do the steps they end up dancing the routine with a contemporary feel so that's what happens all right, so hope this answers your questions a little bit. If you're interested in this, just hit me up on my Twitter page and I'll try and give you some more answers to your questions. All right, see you later.